Hello, this is Chris with PlaybookUsers.com. Uh, this video is going to be about how to re-sign an app that you've already signed before. The reason why I'm making this is because I had installed uh, these little signing keys on a, another computer. Yeah, I got a whole another set because I was coming across the problem that if I had an error and I signed something, and then I tried to uh, reconvert that app, um, it wouldn't sign again because it said it had already been signed. Uh, this doesn't warn you. It will write over an app that you just converted. So let's say you signed it, all is good, and then you forget and you're converting a bunch of apps and you try to convert it again. It will rewrite the um, the file, the correct file, and write this unsigned uh, version. And you'll have problems. Um, let's see what I tried to do. Um, I downloaded another program uh, someone had developed, or it takes some stuff that BlackBerry had BlackBerry had developed, and uh, made uh, the script a little bit easier. Uh, for some reason, I wasn't able to get this to work. Uh, anyways, yeah, wasn't able to get that to work. Uh, so let's show you what I mean right here. We'll go ahead and add a file. Let's add a file that I've already tried to convert before. Let's see, apps to convert. I think I tried to convert Google Plus before. Let's see what happens when I try to do this. Convert and sign it. Let's see what happens. All right, let me select my Android SDK folder. For those who have no idea what I'm doing, you might want to watch our first video on how to convert a uh, playbook or an Android app to your to work on your playbook. Go hit convert, sign it. And it says successfully converted. Okay, well, I guess I have never signed this one before. So let's see what happens if I try to sign it again. All right, now it's saying have not all been successful, uh, successfully converted. Dot bar and signed. Okay, code signing failed or sign request failed because this file has been previously signed. All right, we just signed it. Yes, that's one of our passwords right there. So, wow, big deal. Anyways, let's see. Let's go find that file find where we're supposed to output that. Alright. The file is right right here, Google Plus. Um, the unsigned version usually winds up being a little bit bigger than a signed version. So let's right click and open this with Notepad++. Uh, we download this app. Perhaps you could use uh, just regular Notepad to do it, but uh, we were told Notepad++ is probably the route you want to go. Alright, so we've opened it now, and you can see the version right here, package version. Let's uh, change that from 0 to 0.1. And go ahead and close it and save it. So now it's been updated a little. Uh, it doesn't have the same version as the original one that we signed. So what I noticed here on the event log is, wow, that might look familiar to some of you. It looks like uh, DOS. It's like a command prompt, kind of like uh, that right there. So let's try to re-sign the application. So we'll go cd backslash and we'll get in the same drive as this. Well, let's change the directory to the same thing as this bbh tool. All right, from there, let's run this command. We'll just take that command right there. We'll copy it. We're actually hitting Control C here, and then we 
you can't put control V or it'll give you that. So we right click and hit paste. So let's hit enter right there and see what happens. Alright, now we get info bar signed. And that's the same output that we got when it correctly signed the bar file. And see right there, the file is indeed smaller and we'll be able to put it on our BlackBerry playbook. So if you've converted an app once on your computer and then you've overwritten it or you've lost that app, deleted it, and you need it again, uh, just follow this little tutorial. Please visit our website at playbookusers.com. Like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash playbookusers and subscribe to our YouTube channel.